one person that always uh, gets missed a little bit and probably doesn't get the recognition he deserves is this guy right here. Meet David Kruger, a certified deaf interpreter for the last 15 years, the last few in the public sector. But he's never before been in the public eye this often. The opportunities and occasions to do such a thing was pretty rare and, and far. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't every, every other day like it is now. Kruger doesn't work alone. This is a great example of folks that um, are behind the scenes just doing a, a great job. He works with two American Sign Language interpreters. They help interpret the briefing for him. So I am deaf. Um, I am not hearing anything that anybody is saying up at the podium. And so I am getting my information from one or the other of the, the team interpreters that I'm working with. It's an intricate dance and a progressive one. Not all the states do it, but we kind of go out of the box a little bit. You see, David doesn't just sign information. He uses gesture and expression to convey a critical message to those who are deaf or hard of hearing. That's the language that they're using every day. That's the language that they're comfortable with that they're going to be able to access the information with best. Um, and a certified deaf interpreter like myself is really vital to that because um, we're able to convey that information in, in our native language, and it's just that much more clear and effective that way. Monica Hernandez, WMUR News 9.